Hola amigos, hola amigas, Dorian here from Hoovalux. Welcome, bienvenido, croissui, salam alaikum. Welcome to the channel, y'all. And we have got another cooking unboxing demonstration today with a difference because I am not standing here on my own. In the background is my sister. Hey, Sister Lux. Hi. <laughs> so what have we got in store for you today? We have got this. We have got a pressure cooker. This was given to me by somebody who really likes my cooking demonstration and videos and gadgets and wanted to remain anonymous, so that's absolutely fine, but you know who you are, so thank you very much. And we're going to use it today for the first time. So I'm going to do a little quick unboxing and first look at it, and then we are actually going to do some cooking. So let's take a look at the box. Okay, so here we are. This is the tower. Over 100 years of quality, 6 litre stainless steel pressure cooker, two pressure settings with quick release and safety lock handle. Cooks 70% faster, makes healthy, great tasting meals, and it's got a 10 year guarantee. And it's suitable for induction, gas, electric, ceramic, and halogen. This hob is induction, so fantastic, I can use it. Um, let's have a look. What's it got here? It says. You'll love how it works. Quick release handle with safety locking system. We need that, we don't want explosions. High and low pressure settings allowing you to cook delicious, delicate foods such as fish, fruit and desserts through to hearty family favorites. Now, my sister and I, do you remember mother's pressure cooker? No. No, neither do I. I do vaguely remember it, because I remember she used to cook brisket in it. Yeah. And the um, sort of like I remember her cooking sort of like it's like the underbelly of the of um, the cow. <laughs> What's that? What meat's that? Meat. Scurvy. Yeah, that's it. Yeah, Freezer. that's it. Yeah, and I do vaguely remember her cooking that, and I do remember it being really, really nice and soft. But I don't really remember the pressure cooker itself. Apparently, a friend of the family, Denise, she used to make amazing rice pudding in hers really quickly so I will have to get a recipe for rice cooking so that is all that's in the box let's have a look very nice uh, very shiny yeah it is very shiny so that's how you release it okay so that is the lid of it Inside it then in here you have the tray and tongs, I think these are. Is that hand glass to put it Um No. no. <laughs> well first we need to look at the instructions, alright? So that's what comes in the box. Let's take a look at the destructions. Uh, responsible add. Are we responsible addicts, sis? No. no. Do not, not let children near it, so we can't use it. Do not place it in a heated oven. Extreme caution. Uh, pressure cooker. Now, my sister is a really good cook. She cooks some really, really nice stuff, I have to admit. Uh, there we go. There's some recipes here. Healthier, efficient, versatile. Uh, using your pressure cooker step by step guide before use before using the pressure cooker for the first time it is recommended that all labels packaging accessories are removed of course retain the instruction manual step by step guide remove new product smell and pressure testing before you start cooking any kind of food it is recommended that below is carried out fill the pressure cooker two thirds with water and add the juice of half a lemon and the lemon skin tablespoon of vinegar blah 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 to prepare da, 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 da. close the lid rest the lid on the cooker body aligned to marking o there uh turn clockwise once closed the upper handle should be directly above the lower handle yes and the click sound, yes. Sound indicates the lid has been closed and locked correctly. The blue safety lock and unlock push button will return to the closed position, which is this here. So if you want to open it, you push that in and then twist it. Then that little knobby thing there stands in the way. And then you close it, click it in, 
that thing pops up which is the pressure valve uh, this dial on the top is to set the settings so you got and I think that one is do the release that's just I'll read the instructions properly but um, that's it okay so there's no stickers on it so the first thing I'm gonna have to do with this is wash it so I'm gonna give it a wash have a quick look at the instructions and we will do the first test on it like it says for cleaning it so I'll be back in a minute liquid quantities are minimum quantities for pressure cooker you may wish to add more especially with larger quantities of meat or poultry it depends on the fish finished dish Meat and poultry, best brown before cooking. So that was what we're going to do. We're going to brown the pork. So I've got a piece of pork here, which is almost two kilograms. So I'm going to turn the hob on and get the pan up to heat. I'm going to open the pork. So, put that in the bin. So the pork is here, the pan now is just coming up to heat and what I'm going to be doing is seasoning the pork as I'm searing it. So, uh, mixed herbs and some chopped garlic I think, should we? So we've got mixed herbs and chopped garlic, that's what I'm going to use to sear it. So I'll just get the pan up to temperature. What I'm going to do, once we've cooked it in the pressure cooker and it's cooked all the way through, what I'm going to do then is to pop it in the oven on our highest temperature for about 10 minutes, just so that we can help to roast the outside of it. So the pan has come to heat, so there we go. So I'm going to pop on some mixed herbs. And some garlic. I'm going to turn it around. Do the same on this side. And we're going to see the pulpy. This is like Saturday brunch, we just Sunday brunch, we just been watching. Mm. Now having to sear the meat is a bit of a pain in the ass, but it really does make a difference. Um, and I know that from when I make um, beef bourguignon, beef stew. It does make a difference to the meat. Pork is done. Mmm. <laughs> I like my pork rare. So I'm just going to carry on searing the rest of this little joint. 
I'll come back to you when it's done. Right, so I'm just finishing off searing this, and from reading the instructions, um, the steam needs to circulate around it. Now the pot, this is too wide for the pot. So what I'm gonna have to do is cut this in half. So I'm gonna take it off the heat, back onto the plate, remove the frying pan. And then I'm going to get the sewing. Yeah, that actually might be good. And I'm gonna chop this joint in half. And then sear the ends of it back in the frying pan. Put it back on the heat. And I'm going to cook in two portions. This is quite a large piece of meat. Um, I got a smaller one and a larger one here, so I'll cook the, la the larger one first, but that will fit in there much better. Um, and then I'll cook the other one after. But I will do this one first. So I'm just going to finish off here in the sides that I have cut. because the air needs to circulate, the steam pressure needs to circulate around the joint. That'll be more than enough for us for our rolls. That'll do. Right, so I'm gonna remove these off the heat, clean down this and come back to you. Okay, now my sister made a really good point. What did you say? Um, looking at the instruction booklet it comes with, there are some sample recipes, but there are only two. Um, salmon and vegetables, and the second one is easy beef casserole. Um, so, if I was going to cook in this for the first time, then I'd have to either go online to get some recipes or perhaps purchase a book to give me some ideas. But there should be perhaps maybe some more simple ones to start you off, like um, a dessert one, like rice pudding or how to cook rice in it. Hmm. So there we go. Only two, re only two recipes and it could be due with some more. So what I'm going to do for the base of cooking the pork in the pressure cooker, I have chopped up some apples. So I'm going to put some apples in the bottom of the pan. And they are, because they'll shrink down, so they are literally to stop the meat from touching the bottom uh, and burning. So it's kind of like a bobbin apples. Uh, I've put a pint in. Um, and I'm going to use, I'm going to stack up the apples a bit. And then I'm going to take the piece of pork and pop it on top. Like so. Let me just clean my fingers. And I am now going to season it with salt, uh, some more of the mixed herbs and a little bit more of the garlic, um, chopped garlic, dried chopped garlic. Or black pepper. Uh, oh yes, black pepper, good thinking back woman. So I've got whole black peppercorns. I don't know if you guys can see into the pot, can you see? There we go, <laughs> see into the pot now. Some black peppercorns. Okay, there we go, that's in the pot. So, right, oh my god, this is so exciting. So I don't think, because I've halved that, I think I should take some of the time off. No, because it says on here, pot roast, one pound of meat, which is what you've got there, three quarters of a pint of water, 30 minutes, steam in. So I was going to put it on for an hour, so shall I do 30 minutes. just 30? 30. 30 minutes. Okay. You've got a bit extra water in there. So I've got the lid, so we're going to pop the lid on. And that is clicked now safely on. This dial at the top, this one here, which is the zero, is for, um, what was that for now? That's for taking the lid off. Yeah, for taking the lid off. 
This one there is for release in the Steam. Number one is for cooking more delicate things like fish and um, and vegetables. as such vegetables. And then for meats, then it is on two, which raises the pressure. So everything is on here. Let's switch it on. And how does it say it'll reach pressure? How do you know? Does it say you've got to um, put it on high? So it's on high. And then the the little valve comes up to the top, and then only when it comes to the top, then you start counting like your thirty minutes. Right. Okay. So. We are going to wait, and I'm going to remove this because the hot might get hot. So we have got it on the highest temperature, which is P, which is superpower. And we are going to wait for it now to reach its temperature when the valve pops up. And then we turn it down and then we start counting. Right, 30 minutes for now the timer. Uh, Alexa, set a timer for 30 minutes. Where is that steam coming from? That valve? It's the release valve, yeah. Ow. Oh, yeah, you'll see it then. Shall I try it down to drop number it down, seven? Drop it down another one, yeah. <laughs> So I've been dropping the heat down slowly, because if I drop it down too far, then it goes back in. Um, so I'll leave it at 7. That the right. Yes. And now we are just going to leave it until the timer is done, and I will come back to you once the timer has run. Okay, so Alexa has just informed us that the 30 minutes is up, so I'm going to turn off the heat. We managed to turn it down to level 5. And what I'm going to do now is to release the steam. Always wear a glove, of course. And... What's that drop stone? Is that it? Yeah. Oh, God. I've changed, turned up to back to zero. Okay. Press the thing. I'm in it. <laughs> and there we go. Let's see if we can see on the inside. So there we go. That's what it looks like on the inside. And now my sister is going to transfer it into a pot, into a bowl, I should say, sorry. Now the apples which are inside, what I was going to do, if you mush them down um, and then sieve it, you can make an apple the juices gravy. Are running clear. So we're just checking the juices are running clear. <laughs> no, nope, nothing running. Do you want to cut the string? Open it up. It is very tender. It is very tender. Um, I think we should just give it 10 minutes in the oven. 
just to crisp up the outside a bit. Because it seems a bit too juicy. That's your point. <laughs> <laughs> um, it's cooked, that's why you see it. Yeah, it's cooked. Right, okay, I'll tell you what we'll do. Let me get a um, carving tray. <clears throat> now, I only transferred it into the... <clears throat> To this just to see what it was like. So what we'll do is my sister will carve it and we'll take a look at the inside. Have you got scissors to cut the thing? Yep. Um, that one there's the sharpest. We we need a new set of knives. That's a bread knife. I know. <laughs> it's the sharpest one we have. Okay, I don't know um... how it's gonna go. Should be the other side, really. You can see it slicing. Oh yeah. Okay, and then we move the camera around. I'm right-handed. There we go. Oh yeah. I'm just dubious, do you know what I mean? It's like, oh my god, 30 minutes. Oh. No. That's not cooked. That's not cooked. So, we put it back in the pressure cooker. <laughs> back up, set it back to that, put it back on, oops, I'll put it back on to high just to get the pressure back up again. No, leave it back right at the top. Just because that's going to go steam, oh, yeah. get the heat to get through it. So you've got to get the steam to come through. I'm going to wait for the steam to come through. Do you think maybe we didn't have it on high enough? Maybe. Or maybe it's too much water. Or maybe. It wasn't this in before, now we are this in. Yeah. Maybe it just wasn't high enough. Right, okay, so we possibly, because this is the first time we've used it, you can see there it's hissing. So what I'm going to do, we're going to leave it for a little bit longer and then come back to you. Okay, so we have put it back on for 15 minutes and we have let the pressure build up a lot more during this time as well, but it's all just trial and error to be honest because, you know, first time ever using it. So we'll turn the heat off. More hissing this time. More hissing this time. Do you want to do it? No. <laughs> <laughs> so my sister's going to turn the dial to for the release. Whoa! Yeah, we didn't have that last time. No, we didn't have that last time. I don't. I think we had it on too low. Oh, the steam smells amazing. Because it smells. Because the steam smells cooked. <laughs> the steam smells cooked. Yes. <laughs> so we're just going to wait for the pressure to come out of that. Last time, just. My brother-in-law is in the background, saying it smells nice. 
So, you know, it's trial and error with this because this is literally the first time I've ever used one. So we're just going to wait for the little red thing at the top to drop back down. And that will indicate. It's let the steam up pretty quick. Because you can let the steam up naturally as well by putting that in uh, running cold water. I've seen people do that on videos. So to let it, um, to let it, the steam come out naturally. Okay, so it's just dropped down. So that means it's safe to open. So we're opening the valve up to full. Yeah, that's it. It's that not it. quite on it, but it is. And... Yeah, that's bubbling away much more than it was before. Okay, so we are going to transfer this now onto the carving tray. Oh yeah. That's definitely cooked. The other two bits almost fall out of I don't think we need the ovens, we'll turn that off. Carve it with a bread knife? Carve it with the bread knife, yeah. I think I need to put some knives on my Amazon wish list, or actually just buy some. And as you can see, that is definitely cooked better. That's fine, though, this. Yeah, okay. Yes, that's fine. <laughs> Pork is got a pinky hue to it anyway, but that's not, that is cooked. Is it? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Hang Not entirely. But that was open. I can't see how that wasn't. Um... Perhaps it was an hour. Not 30 minutes, I said. But that bit was up the top where the steam would have been. And that was open then. Yeah. The... No, that was for double the size meat. I think if we just, I think if we slice it up and then put it in the oven yeah, put back on. for 10 minutes, we'll, we'll put it in this tray and let me take out these bits of string. So we'll put the um, pieces of put. It's definitely not cooked all the way through. No, because the there's reds in the juices. Can you just put it in this tray then? See if you use another one. Um, I just thought it would. Um, um, that'll be easier to clean than that because that's metal. We can just put the slices in here, and then. Um, put the red ones on top, isn't it? Yeah, just sort of like stack it in lines or whatever. <laughs> but don't fail because we still have the other piece of meat. And what we're going to do, I'm going to put that into the pressure cooker now. Because <clears throat> I can't leave it half cooked because it'll go off. Those are the more cooked ones. I put the less cooked ones on top. Yeah. These ones here at the bottom are really super soft. Yeah. That we can slice up and put at the bottom. Maybe it's just not so good for joints, maybe, I don't know. Well, no, I, I've seen them use them all the time. So what I've got here, so in the bottom, that definitely needs more water. Where's my jug? Could it be because I didn't use the... Um, the basket. The basket, which I'm going to use now. 
I'm just taking the um, apples from the bottom of the pressure cooker out of it. The other bit seems more cooked, the other half. So what I'm going to do for this one is I'm going to use the basket. Have you measured the water? Well, I've put it up to the minimum mark that it says No, you're on. supposed to measure it as three quarters of a pint. I'd measure it over it. Okay. Because for a pound of pork, it should be three quarters of a pint. Let's do what it says on the on the thing though. Like. You should put this in the basket and put it back in. <laughs> Sliced up. Right, so I got three quarters. Oh my god, I just dropped off. Three quarters of a pint of water. I'm going to wipe the lid down. So there's the lid going on. That is now clicked in. Set it back to the higher setting. Put it on high to make sure the steam builds up. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to put this into the oven. Alexa. Set a timer for 10 minutes. Second timer, 10 minutes. Start and again. this one, wait for it to get to temp. So it's a pound of meat, it's three quarters of a pint of water. Hopefully, you'll get better results. <laughs> and this one, I'm going to put on for an hour. It says 30 minutes on the moon. Well, that um, didn't work. But we didn't have the temperature. But even with an extra 15 minutes. I would, so I would do 15, max. 30 minutes, like it says, and then check again. Shit or bust, the other ones are fine to eat for us. I'm going to try this one. Um, with what I saw on the internet. So I'm going to wait for it to reach temperature. Because we turned it straight down last time, so it's normal. So the pressure is building up. So it's right, it got heat right up. Okay. 
This one we tried, which was on the, which was what the cookbook says. This one, I, I'm, it's not going to ruin it, but I will try it for what it says on the internet for the measurement of meat. So Alexa, set a timer for one hour. Second timer, one hour. So I'm going to, I'm going to leave it like that on number seven, so it's slightly steaming, and we'll come back to it in an hour. But. Once that's roasted, finished off in the oven, I'll show you my roll. No, no, ceramic. So we are on the second joint. Oh, have you got knives, the ceramic? My sister was looking at the um, ceramic knife. I got a small one, I used to vegetables, brilliant. Yeah, I got um, third door down. There's loads of them in there. Uh, yeah, my sister was like, yeah, now you finally got a good knife. Uh, so there's about, oh, there we go. Alexa, stop. Alexa, stop. Thank you. So this has been on for one hour. We've been watching a couple of reviews on the pressure cookers and this is not the most top quality one that you can buy for certain reasons, what we were looking at in the video. So we're gonna turn the pressure off. Uh, I th my sister should wear the glove. <laughs> it's the wrong way around. I'll just both And uh, she is going to release the pressure at the top. We go let the thing go down first. It'll take ages. You need to release that to make that go down. Unless you want to do it naturally. No, it doesn't. You, that goes down, then then you can release the rest of the steam. Oh, is it? Uh, it must be highly pressurised. Don't touch the other toes. Don't touch that at all until that pops down. Ah. Oh, yeah, of course, yeah. Because mm -hmm. it's releasing the pressure. That's, yes. At the moment, and then that releases the steam now. So it is starting to die down, I can see. Oh, the airline's gone down. Yeah. So this one has got like a little red button thing on it there. A little nubbing. So we're just going to wait for that. The first half of the pork that we did, and then I put it in the oven for 10 minutes on high, that turned out fine. It was really, really nice. It was it was, it was, was quite full in the bits, wasn't it? Mm. It was nice. Very tender. Yeah, it was very, very tender. So we're just going to wait for that little button to go down. Okay, so the little red marker has just gone down. So I'm... That really says any steam. Well, it's just opening up. Does not turn all the way to zero? No steam. A bit awkward because I'm... You can turn around that way, it's fine. I do things left-handed, we? Yeah. Oh, wow. That's actually browned it. So this time we put it in the tray. You see a dip for running. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Oh yeah, I forgot that. I see it before it went in. Right, okay, so we're gonna remove it. As I'm liking that, it doesn't broken itself. Brother-in-law and Habby Lux are in the background. Laughing. Laughing. So there we go. There's not much water left either, which is good. That'd make nice uh, gravy, right? Yeah, that would make really nice gravy. So we're just going to remove the strings. Actually, I'm going to lower the legs on this. Yeah. There we go. So what we were watching on the video it was that some of the pressure cookers don't have. Um, 
the best one that she recommended was like what was it two hundred and fifty dollars? Yeah. So the economy, these ones, they can take uh, a little bit longer to cook stuff. Depends how much steam is released. Yeah. So there we go. That is the joint. So let me move the light over to this side, and then we can watch you then carve up the carve it up. Okay, so far so good. That looks cooked. You've literally doubled the amount of time. Yeah, that's on the thing. That's cooked. But it's nice and juicy, very yeah. tender. Keep on carving. Keep on carving, girl. Keep on carving. As we go in through, we can see. Yeah, cooked beautifully. Yeah, and really juicy. So with this one, which is the tower, if you're doing joints like this, I'll do more demonstration videos, and I'll do more like stews and lentils and um, and rice pudding and stuff. I'll, I'll I'll do that. But the only thing I can suggest for this one is to possibly. Get a cookbook. Yeah, get a cookbook. Um, or increase the times ever so slightly. Or a lot. <laughs> mm -hmm. What I'll actually do is I'll let this cool down. No, otherwise the cat will be into it. And it'll be bye-bye pork. I'll do a beef joint next with it. I'll try beef. Yeah. The only thing I don't really like though is the 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 way it makes the fat squidgy. You couldn't yeah, you couldn't do crackling. No, steamed. You can't. <laughs> yeah, steamed crackling. If you want if you want crackling, it's got to be roast. Yeah. It's too warm. <laughs> That's going to be a lumpy bit. Give that to the dogs. Chop it up. Ah, stick in your sandwich. Gesundheit. <laughs> <laughs> when it's cooled down, you can just slice it a bit more. Yeah, no, that'll be fine for rolls for tomorrow for lunch. So, okay, so verdict, Mal, what do you think? I wouldn't rush out and buy one personally. No. Do you prefer the kind Evelyn. of like the <laughs> the, <oven. laughs> the um, electric ones that we saw on the reviews, or do you f do you think it's kind of like? I think it's one of those things you might buy, use once or twice, put in the cupboard, and then I'll use it for a while. Yeah. But a slow slow cooker, I use all the time for stews. Yeah. Because they cook in when I'm in work. Yeah. And if I want to roast a joint, it just goes in the oven with the roast potatoes and things. I guess so it's really you good. You would have the oven on anyway. If you sort of like, if you're eating a lot of lentils and stuff, possibly that would be good. That was my brother-in-law farting in the background. Have you heard that? <laughs> He's been waiting to do that. Um, so yeah, all in all, yeah, it was really good for the first demo. Basically, do I leave it here or do I take it back to Swansea with me? <laughs> yeah. No, you, you can keep it here. <laughs> it's fine. <laughs> I've got wrestling for it. You can take the cheesecake back from the cheesecake factory, but you can leave me the pork. Yeah. Okay, so thank you very much for watching. That was just a quick unboxing um, and a brief demo. I will do a lot more cooking with it and get used to it. I've never used one of these before, so it was the first time. So these videos are just for fun, remember. They're not scientific or trying to persuade you in any other direction apart from this is just fun. So anyway, thank you very much for watching. Please comment, like, and subscribe. And I'll see you all in the next video. Bye, y'all. This one's cooked! Cookie! Okay.